So it's been about six months since Alchemy Stars has launched for both Japan and global, including KR, Thailand, and essentially the rest of the world. And so of course, as we near the six month mark, we are looking at the half anniversary. And very, very recently, a few hours ago, we had a JP half anniversary stream. They brought along a whole bunch of VAs. They uncovered a whole bunch of different content. We even had a VTuber, that was pretty cool. And there was also this very handsome man, but all in all, this was a great live stream. And so with that being said, hi. Welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking or rather doing a recap of the JP live stream for the half anniversary. There are going to be a lot of events. There's a freaking collab. There's a lot of freebies. Man, these guys are really showing up like I don't know, a couple of other companies that may or may not be doing really nice anniversaries. And on top of that, if we do have time, I will also cover off some of the upcoming systems. Oh man, one of these systems, I've been begging for it since day one and it is finally here. But enough of that and so let's jump into the content so i am on this reddit post alchemy stars half anniversary stream recap and so massive massive shout out to Mega Man 2 k8 on reddit thank you so much for putting this one together and so before we start i do want to take this opportunity to say that this is a great time to start alchemy stars i personally think that it was probably one of the greatest if not the greatest gacha game like the traditional gacha that was released in 2021 and with this like new guarantee pity system anyway i'm gonna shut up about that i am not paid by tour dog to shield out on them and so with that being said let's get started with this one over here gift from the queen is a celebration present of 3k lu member for the upcoming sands of time event and so essentially all this is is it's a lump sum of 3k lu member but guys do not be worried, this is not all of the Loom Amber that we are going to be getting. And so for those of you who are not familiar with this game, Loom Amber is essentially a premium currency. This is, I believe, going to be 10 rolls. All right, and so moving on, let's have a look at the next one, a timeline of events since the release of the game. This is really nice because it did show us all of the different events, all of the different milestones that we went through. We had 2 million downloads within a few days. And then five days after that, we actually hit 5 mil. And then we've got all of these ones over here. I'm relatively sure that these are the different events a lot of these characters look quite familiar and then over here we have 10 million downloads and remember this is including jp so this is honestly pretty insane all right and moving on as of right now we are at 16 million downloads which is honestly incredible especially because this is a new ip before alchemy stars nobody knew who tour dog was this is i'm pretty sure one of their first releases and it's doing so incredibly well next we've got the half anniversary video this is this is pretty insane because there may be an anime that is in the works and it's it looks really fantastic so i'm not going to play this one because i'm probably going to get my ass dmca but like look at these visuals oh my god look at beth and we've got barton over there we've got keatings um honestly i think this looks fantastic and if you guys have not checked this out yet then please go ahead and as always i will leave everything in the description below but yeah the animation style and everything all of the characters it's really it's really really fun to see them all come alive and have this kind of like uh kind of like an extended world building right like very much like league of legends where they put out like pvs or like other mvs as well as their new netflix series like arcane it is this is very very reminiscent of that i think some other gacha games like fake grand order like have this kind of stuff and it's really cool to see all right moving on number of battles and aurora times since release this is um only 361 million when we've had 772 million battles that's uh that's uh I think we've got to step up our Aurora time game, my guys. But maybe the 772 million other stages that were actually like entered and not completed. So kind of makes sense if, you know, we went in and then we came out. Next, we've got the top five Aurorians used to clear the main story. So we've got Vice, of course, Vice. Honestly, our main heroine is actually quite a strong water sniper. And it's funny because it makes me think to some other games where the starting characters are kind of doo-doo, right? So like uh, Amber from Genshin Impact, big sad. That's that's, that's really all I can say. Big sad. But then after that, Sariel, Sharona, Midgard, and Gronru, honestly, not really surprised at all here. Especially because water teams were so, so prevalent. So Sariel and Sharona, a lot of people certainly were rolling for Sharona at the very start of the game. And so yeah, this, um, this looks about right. All right, so moving on, we've got the top five skins owned by players, not including free. Oh my. We clearly love our girl Vice, so... 
Ray of Sunshine and Sakura Memories, two of the Battle Pass skins. And then we've got Icy in third. Heck to the yeah, this Icy skin is actually so freaking awesome. And then the Philishai skin from the Battle Pass and then the Carleen skin. And I suppose you can say that this is kind of within expectations because like these were the Battle Passes, the first Battle Pass, second Battle Pass over here, a third Battle Pass over here. And most of the time, most people are not going to fork out for the skins themselves, but they will fork out for the Battle Pass, which includes the skin. But regardless, glad to see all of these ladies over here and it's, ah, oh, Sag, no clicking. But that's all good. With that being said, let's move on to the five giant furniture set items. Okay. I actually really like this one over here because it's like a floaty that's in the shape of a Colossus. But otherwise, not too much left to be said on that one. So let's have a look at number one most confessed to Aurorian from JP Twitter campaign. It is Hero. Oh my lord. Honestly, I should have been able to guess this. I think a lot of people have something, um, they go wild for the short haired girls, the short haired pink haired girls. All right. And so moving on next, we've got the Nikki skin reveal. This is actually super freaking awesome. And so if you guys have not been following the skins or like the Twitter updates, it was actually revealed earlier that we will be getting a Victoria skin, a Gronru skin. So this is the like a Santa themed ones and then a Nikki skin. So the Nikki and the Victoria skin are kind of based around like a mirror kind of concept. So whilst we knew about the Victoria and Gronru skin, we only found out about the the Nikki skin in the live stream. Very, very nice skin. Honestly, like every single skin that has been designed so far are top quality. It's just a shame that Hero isn't riding her motorbike or Sharona is not riding her horse. But with that being said, let's move on to the next one. Other gift from the queen featuring a cross converter of your choosing and a new background image. This is pretty insane because cross converters, oh my God, MBT please. And if you guys have not figured it out by now, the queen, the queen is actually referring to Bethlehem, who is probably one of the most hyped characters in the entire game. So just coming to the live stream really quick, you'll be able to see that one of the cosplayers actually, she cosplayed as Bethlehem. So that's pretty cool. Like, look at that. And if you guys still don't know who Bethlehem is, I may cover her at the end of the video. But with that being said, let's move back over here. So again, we get a cross converter as well as a new background image. Honestly, that's so freaking lit. And it looks like on top of that, we are also getting a recharger pack as well as some of the 9TM. But looking back up at this one over here, which one is the best? I guess first priority is the one that you don't have and second priority is the one that's closest to MBT. Or if you are an enthusiast of a particular color, then you already made your choice. And so next we've got the really, really spicy announcements. I freaking love it. We have a Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Made Announcement collab. So look at that over here. I'm going to be honest, I have not watched May Dragon before, but I am very, very familiar with a lot of the memes as well as the art and the characters. And what they have announced for us is that the collaboration unit is going to be one of the main characters, Toru. She is going to be a six star fire Aurorian. <laughs> to be honest, I love this. I personally think that it's a very, very fitting collab, but not only that, it's probably going to get a lot of anime fans into this freaking awesome game. And then on top of that, we had Cordy's VA actually spoiling that she is taking part in the collaboration, meaning that Quetzalcoatl is going to be probably another one of the collaboration units. Because they did announce that in total, there is not only going to be a Toru, but another three characters. And so just on the topic of this one over here, as you can see, it is going to be starting in about three weeks time on January 13, 2022, and will last for two weeks all the way up until the 26th of January. So mark your calendars because it is very likely that Toru, as well as the rest of the cast, will be a limited collab units. And so to me, all that means is like, save, save, save. All right, so that covers the collaboration. And then I believe we have the upcoming events after that. So these are just teasers for the next events after the January one. So this is February. And then we got March over here, some of the characters, and then April for this one over here. I suspect this one is going to be about Rediesel Wrench and this one and this one, honestly, I am not too sure. My vibe, my speculation on this one is that it's probably going to be about the Northlands, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And so let's move on to the new home system. This is honestly freaking incredible because I'm sure most of you have already realized it, but our Colossus can only really fit so many people and so many different functions. And to be honest, our Colossus has kind of become like 
like a, it's it's a base, but it's re re it's really boring. Whilst it is very much alive, like you've got the other people walking around and stuff, like wouldn't you be way happier seeing your Aurorians actually like habitate a island or like some sort of area? And so this kind of home system, I do believe that it is based on Aerovale. This is in the works and hopefully we will see more updates very, very soon. It's actually quite unclear whether it will replace the Colossus or not, but my guess is that it won't be. And so with that, next we have the special project known as a long day which is in the development and it will release for summer 2022 so if i remember correctly this one was actually going to be a flashback to when graham and some of the other characters were younger and honestly this is pretty sick because like now we have the events mapped up from december and then we're going to go into january collab and then february march april we are going to have three events and then into the summer with this one over here so that's honestly quite nice i really like that i really like that we have some kind of teaser because it gets us all hyped and then from here we've got a whole bunch of different events that are kind of outside like more meta and what I mean by that is like it's a lot of these real life events so over here we've got the Pixiv event kind of like illustration rewards as well as this one over here as you can see like oh if we get this amount of illustrations and stuff then everybody's gonna get this amount of lube amber if there's anything that tour dog or alchemy stars know how to do right it's marketing they hold so many of these events like retweet events as well as like google play gift card giveaways in which we are probably going to see one very very soon if I click over to this one over here, I'm pretty sure I just saw it. So over here, 15 navigators who retweet this will receive an Apple or Google Play gift card worth 10 USD. And on top of that, five navigators will also receive a merch bag, which is freaking awesome. I love like game merch. But then every single time these ones happen, we also get a event furniture. And I just love that they are distributing all of these like nice little neat assets to us that we can just use to decorate our homes and stuff. And hopefully we will actually be able to take this furniture and move it into that new home system. I really hope so because uh, my place is getting flooded. But aside from that, MDD models, Miku Miku, I'm pretty sure it's MMD, but that's all good. But as you can see, it looks like we are going to be getting the little 3D chibi models. Oh my God, look at Wrath. Wrath is actually one of my favorite characters. But yeah, this looks great. I can already tell the kinds of music videos that are going to be coming out. It's like the ones that all the Genshin ones do. As well as like anytime we get any 3D assets, they just do that dance thing. Yeah. All right. Otherwise, Alchemy Stars X Sweet Paradise Limited Cafe in Sendai. <laughs> I sometimes wish that I was in Japan for stuff like this. And so whilst it's unlikely that any of you can attend, that's pretty lit. After that, we've got the Niji Sanji collaboration stream on Christmas Day. So this is fantastic because it is a lot more of the marketing. And I'm pretty sure that Alchemy Stars have actually done a collaboration with Niji Sanji before, especially on the launch. And whilst I don't know how effective it was, like I think that this can only be good things. Appealing to the weebs like me, getting the VTuber fan base on board with the Alchemy Stars, I think it's a great move. And as you can see, we actually had one of the Niji Sanji in this live stream over here. And so past Christmas, we are going to actually be celebrating the New Year's with even more gifts. If I remember correctly, we're going to be getting a Starflare over here. And remember to log in every single day, 28, 29, all the way to the 1st uh, of 27. And one of the best items is probably this one down here in which we are going to be getting these elemental selectors for materials but otherwise just neat little gifts very very nice and so we are almost done a small amazon campaign where you tell bethlehem your wish and you might win 10,000 yen i mean sorry 1,000 yen 1,000 yen that's pretty funny but i'm pretty sure that is jp exclusive so that's a little bit sad but it's all good and so this one was a pretty funny one so more gifts based on the host rolling on the mainstay banner and so what happened was that the more six stars that they could get on the mainstay banner the more rewards we would get however as some of you already know the rates sometimes in this game are a bit, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's questionable. And so in the end, they just decided to give us all of the rewards anyway. So let's just have a quick look at it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as you can see, we are going to be getting a lot of these freaking mats. Honestly, nothing game changing, but it was a really fun exercise to watch. And again, I would encourage you guys to watch the VOD if you have not done so. And then finally, we have main story part two, which is in development and will release in the first half of 2022. And they have planned 10 chapters so far, which is pretty freaking insane. And so with that, that actually wraps up like all of the live stream or the JP live stream content. However, before we leave, I do want to take you guys through a couple of the different changes that have been announced on the EN Twitter, because I appreciate that not everybody follows Twitter and there were some really freaking dank things going on over here. So first of all, we have the PV for Bethlehem coming up. As you can see, the sands of time, it is looking freaking lit as it always does. Then after that, we have the exclusive event furniture glimmer tree, which I did mention before. Look at that. 
Look at that 3D model asset that I'm going to chuck into one of my rooms. This one we've already covered, so I'm not going to cover that one. And then we have this half anniversary update kind of thing. And it's just really showing off the animation style again. I just think that this is, is so, so fantastic. Hopefully their commitment to like an anime or whatever is going to draw in a bigger player base and maybe we'll have more friends, something like that. But otherwise, aside from that, we do have the Bethlehem as well as Novio releases or rather their sneak peeks. And so my guys, welcome to Bethlehem who has been hyped up since the freaking first day of this game. Bethlehem is a water unit and then we've got Novio over here who it will be a fire unit. And so their banners are going to be starting very, very soon, but I'm pretty sure there are sneak previews somewhere. Over here, we've got the Gronru skin. Honestly, shit, I think I might cop this one. Gronru be looking pretty fine. But then we've got the Victoria one as well, which we've seen both of them. I don't know about you guys, because as much as I want these, my wallet can't handle it. There is a, there is too much going on. And so this is the big bad boy that I wanted to talk about. New guarantee mechanism this is going to be so, so lit. So essentially on any given banner, if you don't get your limited six star or rather the target six star on the banner within the first two six stars, and then you are able to roll a third six star, you will be guaranteed that target six star. So that guaranteed mechanism is going to come along with the limited banner, the Bethlehem banner. And yes, my guys, you heard that right. Bethlehem will be a limited unit. So that means that when she is like, well, when her banner is over, she is not going to be added to the mainstay pool and and she will leave for a period of time, I suspect until the next winter. Aside from that, we are going to be getting limited time double drops events. So I believe from like the 23rd to about the 26th, something like that. Maybe if I click this link, I will learn a bit more. Let's have a look. You know what? Maybe I should have been talking to this one over here. Limited time event stages are now available. As you can see, a whole bunch of the event details are published over here. But what I did want to talk about more is, oh my gosh, there is part two, three, four, five. So here we've got a login event and I'm pretty sure in total combined with the 3k Lumamba that was uh, gifted to us at the start of the live stream. I think in total, we will end up with about 6k Lumamba, which equates to 20 pulls. Honestly, very nice. And then this one over here, the limited time double drops event. So just to clarify, it's from 23rd of December all the way to 28th December. And so if you guys have been hoarding those recharger packs, like this is the time to drop them. Otherwise, as you can see, we have the Queen of the North. We got Beth over here with her base art as well as her fully ascended art and again this bad girl will not be present in other recruitments after she has left we do have about three weeks to try get her but yeah and as for whether i'd recommend rolling for her or not it's really hard to say because for me like from a collection point of view it is very very likely that bethlehem will come back but like when i think of the may dragon collab units tend to not come back so for me i'm probably going to prioritize that who knows we'll see but from a meta point of view bethlehem i have a lot to say but we can save that for another video. And so the rest of this page actually goes through the mechanics for the guaranteed mechanism. So like I said, if the six star Aurorian featured in this recruitment is not obtained within two consecutive attempts, then the next six star Aurorian obtained through this recruitment will definitely be the featured six star Aurorian. So this could actually potentially be really, really good, right? Because it means that there is not really like, well, there is a hard pity, but each time you hit a six star, your pity or your hard pity gets shorter and shorter. So if for example, you hit like two six stars in 40 pulls that means what was potentially what like 180 pulls for hard pity is going to get shortened down to probably about 80. i personally think that it's quite a decent system however i am going to need to bring your attention to this one over here because it is very very important this limited time exclusive recruitments increased probability and guarantee mechanism are independent of other types of recruitment blah 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 this is the one that really really matters this limited time exclusive recruitments increased probability and guarantee mechanism are only valid during this period and will not be carried over to the next special limited time recruitment. What this means is that your pity, the 2% to 4.5%, up to 7%, up to whatever, like your 2.0, plus whatever percent, all of that actually gets wiped if you do not pop it during the exclusive banner. But not only that, for the guarantee mechanism, like if you did hit two six star characters beforehand, and then you're expecting to hit Bethlehem on like the next one, you do need to hit it then and there, or else the next time it comes around, it's not going to be there. Not a massive fan because this is going to encourage like an incredible amount of hoarding. But you know what? They've finally added a guarantee system. I can only be grateful for this. Obviously, it could be better but you know what it is what it is i will take it thank you very much tour dog and so with that i believe i've covered pretty 
much everything that I wanted to cover. We're getting a new room in the Colossus and some sign-in events. Again, it's probably going to total about like 6,000 of the Loom Amber. And then on top of that, we've got a new battle pass coming out with the Araya as the skin. Honestly, this skin is like so freaking simple, but it is so, so freaking nice. And so just a reminder, this is going to be the paid outfit. Whereas on the other hand, we've got the nails outfit that is going to be free for everybody. I personally think that these two skins are fantastic. I am so keen to get them. Otherwise, we've got Lola coming up, who is going to be the five star on the Beth or on the Novio banner. She is from the Northland, but we can cover her another day. And uh, this one, this is the one that I did want to talk about. So as you can see, we have Robin over here, who was the exclusive unit. Back on launch, when you could do the pre-registration roles, I gave up on her because I wanted to re-roll. But my guys, you will be pleased to hear that she is going to be coming as part of a limited login event. So everybody is going to get her. But aside from that, I think that's it for coverage for the upcoming events. Yeah, that was, um, wow, that was quite a heavy video, a lot, a lot of content. And so hopefully you guys appreciated that wrap up of everything that has been going on that will be going on for probably the next six months or so. And so with that being said, it is time to pass off the question to you guys. Secret question. Out of all of these different events, all of these new mechanics, all of these new systems, which one is your favorite? And I know you guys can already guess, mine would probably be the guarantee one because I've been begging for it like since day one. This bad boy really makes me freaking happy, especially because it carries through the limited ones. However, aside from that, I think my favorite thing from all of this is going to be um, this one over here, a new home system. So I suspect there's going to be a lot of building. There's going to be hopefully a lot of customized we're going to be seeing our little chibis walking around and interacting with the environment. It's going to be lovely. And so that is what I'm most hyped for. And I want you guys to let me know what you're most hyped for out of all of these different things. And if you guys do end up leaving your thoughts down in the comments below, I would really appreciate that because it means you watch up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, if you did like this video, please consider a like. And if you would like to see more of my stuff, then please subscribe. But otherwise, it has been a hectic six months and we are finally finally seeing your girl Bethlehem. However, as Bethlehem once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.